Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely lazy gardener, Lizzie. And I wanted to share a, a spot of a garden project with you all. It's always a spot of something with me. And um, I decided to do a little decorating in the garden. So before I get started, you all, I know y'all love your garden so much like me so make sure you give this video a thumbs up you can do that now because you know you're gonna forget and then also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and you know leave a comment I want to know if this is going to be something that you'll try now make sure you hang on all the way to the end because y'all I put a few projects in this video okay we got a few projects so you all, I was watching somebody else's video and uh, I love that they had like these whimsical flags in their garden and I wanted that. I said, I want that. So one day this week, I decided to attempt a, a bit of experiment and that is to make some flags for the garden, some garden flags. Now, I went on to YouTube University to try to find some videos for garden flags, and y'all could, I only found a few, and that's because these are actually called bunting and not flags. I don't know why, but it says bunting, so if you look up bunting, you can see how to make these. It's super easy, and I also have to say, y'all, every single piece of thread, fabric, everything I already had here because y'all I'm not only a gardener I'm a crafter I'm a mixed media artist and I had everything that I needed to make this so as you can see she pulled out her sewing machine <laughs> with my butterflies on it because you know it had to reflect the garden you know how we roll <laughs> you know how we roll so what I did was just cut some fabric up into uh, lots of different shapes and really just some rectangles and also some triangles and I just sewed them onto some vintage ribbon that I had and y'all because I'm a crafter I have tons of fabric but if this is something that you wanted to do you could go to the thrift store and you can get sheets you all you can get bed sheets or you can get the um pillowcases that are pretty and it'll only cost you like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that and you'll have some beautiful fabric so just keep that in mind and then if you have a dollar store in your area you can get lace like this and also trim and you can hand sew this if you don't have a sewing machine but I have a sewing machine so uh, that's what I use so it really made this project really quick so uh, my intention was just to do like one row of page um, not page flags <laughs> a bunting so to speak to go out in the garden and then it turned into uh, I wouldn't say a mega project but y'all it's just I, I feel like it is um, more motivating for me to get out in the garden and enjoy it when it's all pretty and decorated and it has all this whimsicalness and you know the fairies are going to be ducking and hiding behind all these little goofy things that we put in our garden <laughs> and y'all I love the way this came out and y'all it was no rhyme or reason as to what fabrics I used because I wanted this to be like a no thinking project um, for the garden and that's exactly how I made it so after I did the first one I ended up uh, making a few more <laughs> I think I made uh, three more after that because I wanted to make sure I had enough to go around the garden but I just went out and tried only one I decided that my garden wasn't cute enough so I made so I made these beautiful flags out of some scrap fabric that's just been sitting in my um, in my closets y'all isn't that wonderful I love how they came out so we'll see how they do with the weather but even if they get tore up I'll just make some more 
it didn't use that much fabric and it just looks fantastic okay so this was my first run on the bunting and so I did make some more but uh, I made like some extra pieces on each end to kind of hang these but I thought what would be better is to use some um, clips so I had these clothes these clothes pins and I actually was using them for something else and they kind of had um, their useful life with that and so I decided to paint them some pretty colors y'all and again I didn't go out and purchase anything I had all of these clips already I got them at the dollar store you can get them anywhere you can get them at the drugstore Walmart they have them every place and then I also put um, some paint on here and I actually got this pack of paint and it probably cost me like about maybe eight bucks for a whole pack of paint but I already had that too and so I just painted all my little clips a whole bunch of uh, nice bright colors and you can see they weren't perfectly painted which was okay with me I also tried using some markers on some clips but uh, it faded in the Sun really really quickly so I would definitely recommend using some paint and you could spray it with like some clear sealant if you wanted to but I just went with it like this so I also decided to um, put some sayings on my little clips and I just used some of my paint pens to do that as well and I love the colors and how they came out so we'll see how they withstand the Florida summer sun so you all out came the sewing machine again <laughs> I figured since I was doing my bunting and I did my uh, little clothesline clips I may as well finish the project off with some chair cushions now you all have seen these before I showed these in a haul video I got them for a pretty good price but they didn't have the ribbons on the side to tie to the chairs so I just sewed on some ribbon myself because the ones that had the ties were probably about 15 bucks a piece each more so I was um, going to spray paint my chairs and then I was looking at them this week and I said to myself self I don't want to spray paint these chairs because I really love that rustic look that they have already which is uh, really a rusty look <laughs> a rusty a rustic look but I like the look that they had already and I thought with these cushions that would make them look nice enough um, it jazzes up enough for the garden for me and uh, I certainly wasn't wrong and I was also a very happy with the color choices when it came to these little pads that I got and actually the one that I'm putting on the back is um, one that goes on the bottom those were all cheaper <laughs> so I just got four of those I hope that makes sense so then I moved on to the bunting and I wanted to put some bunting on each one of the trellises. So this is my dream trellis. Um, Y'all, all my little areas have a name in case you haven't been following me. So make sure that you give a thumbs up for garden uh, room names. <laughs> and then also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And you can take the Wayback Machine and see how the garden looked in the past. Cause it is quite different uh, than it was when I first started and y'all I, I am a true fan of baby steps you know um, I have been putting things in the garden and decorating slowly and 
everything is just coming together and I'll tell you this time last year I was overdone with the garden <laughs> I was done with the garden but this year I've been hanging in there and I have really been enjoying it so obviously even though I was done last year this time I still enjoyed it because I came back to it so that's how it is when it comes to gardening sometimes you have to take a smidge of a break so y'all look how everything came out this was a good project and um, I didn't want to do too much today anyway because you know y'all I hurt my back so I'm giving my back a rest but you know you know how we are we don't really take a rest but y'all look at that the chairs are beautiful the bunting is beautiful oh and the flowers are beautiful as well <laughs> love to know what is your favorite project in your garden and what is your favorite project over here in this garden will you be trying this bunting in your garden as well I sure hope so I'm gonna give you a thumbs up for that one and again subscribe 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 and thank you all for joining me on my garden journey I have to say it motivates me to know that there's other gardeners out there that love their garden as much as I do. Now I can get a cup of coffee or uh, grab some tea leaves from out here in the garden and y'all, this is what my view, this is what I will be looking at. Isn't that spectacular? And the clips are the piece de resistance. All right, everybody. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.